Hello friends, my name is AJ and in this video I'm going to be showing you some ways that you can prepare for AP Computer Science A. Now this can be both for people who have not taken the class yet and maybe want to uh, prepare a little bit in case they have a, a tough, uh, tough year, tough semester coming up and they want to just kind of get a little bit familiar to the beginning material. And it also applies to people who are already in the class and want to kind of uh, move also ahead, maybe for a similar reason. Uh, maybe they have things that they just want to kind of prioritize or later, so they want to do some of the AP Computer Science stuff beforehand. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some very good resources in which you can do this. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first thing I did is I went onto Google, and if you search up AP Computer Science, you should see the official College Board page for AP Computer Science A, which looks something like this. You see on the page that it should be under AP Students, and you have um, information about AP Computer Science A here. You have, for example, about the course, and then you'll also have down here about the exam, okay? So what you can do is you can simply go over to, it says here, go to AP Central. So if you click on this button here, go to AP Central, you're going to open up the AP Central page for AP Computer Science. If you go over to the course and scroll a little bit down, okay, and you'll see down here that there is this AP Computer Science course, uh, an exam description. Now you could also access this by going onto Google and searching AP Computer Science ACED, and it will also show up this document. Now if you click on this document, it's actually not just you know a single page, it's actually multiple it's hundreds of pages. However, what this has is it has all of the information for everything that's supposed to be in the course. So if you scroll down toward the table of contents, so if you scroll down to these unit guides, there are 10 unit guides, and these are for all of the units from primitive types all the way down to recursion, units 1 through 10. So if you want, let's just say we go to unit uh, 1. You can simply click right here, and it will bring you to the uh, unit 1 page. And it tells you the number uh, or the AP exam weighting or how you'd see it on the actual exam. And then you also see the class periods. Now, if you scroll down, you can see that it kind of talks about an, some information here for the actual exam. So you can see here that it has something about big ideas. These big ideas are going to be very important for you because they allow you to kind of... Um, they, they kind of allow you to understand what the unit is actually talking about. And then over here, you can see that there is this developing, uh, de developing understanding. And this paragraph contains information about what the purpose of the unit actually is. So you can see right here that it says, this unit introduces students to the Java programming language, which of course is the programming language for AP Computer Science A. And then it says here, and the use of classes providing students with a firm foundation of concepts that would be leveraged and built upon in all future units. So you can see that it's basically saying that this is a very foundational of course, it's unit one, but it's a very foundational unit and you'll be using everything in this unit pretty much always after this. And then you can see here, there's some information about preparing for the exam, but if you scroll down, you actually then start to see a list, unit at a glance with every topic. And you can see here, topic 1.1 is why Java. 1.2 is variable data types. 1.3 is expressions and assignment statements. 1.4 is compound assignment operators. 1.5 is casting and ranges of variables. So knowing this, right, you can scroll down even further. And now you start to see there's actually pages for every single topic. And you can see down here that they actually tell you the objective and also what information you need to learn for the actual topic. And this has it for every single thing. Like you can see here, it says a, a type is a set of values and a set of operations on them, right? You can see down here that it says the pre, three primitive data types are in uh, double and Boolean. So this is going to be some very, very good resources for you to kind of see what each unit is supposed to be about and ensuring that in what you review that you actually know that these that you are covering every single thing that is in the course and exam description. Because what is inside of this document is going to be what is eligible to be tested on, right? Because the entire course, the entire AP Computer Science course, and this actually applies to all AP exams, all of the AP classes and what you're going to be learning, what you're going to be doing, what you need to know is all in the, all of their course and exam documents. Like, let's say I want to do, I can literally go here and I can search up, like if I go back to this AP Central, right? 
I can go to AP cor uh, courses and exam pages over here. I can click on a random one. Like I can go here and click on um, AP 2D Art and Design. And even under, you know, the, the course, you'll see if, if this actually loads up that there is a course, well, that's the errata sheet. Let me go back. Let's see, there's an actual course and exam description for even this, AP Art and Design. And for every single unit, they will have, like they'll say here, see course framework, right? Which talks about all of the different things in the course. Or, you know, if you want to do something like, um, what's another example, AP Human Geography. If you go down here and you click on the course and you click on course and exam description, you'll see that there's also another document. Uh, let me open that one again, I don't know what happened there. Here we go, so you can see over here, and then you have all seven units, unit guides, right, in the same way. You have, for example, unit one, thinking geographically, and they have all of the topics. So this is something that's going to be very useful in any AP exam, but especially for AP Computer Science, so that you kind of have a checkbox of what you actually, you know, what you actually need to know kind of in a list. And it is very helpful if you go up for AP, for computer science to this, right, unit at a glance, it is going to be very helpful for you. Now I'm going to close out of all of these and I'm going to be showing you the next resource which is going to be very useful and that is RuneStone Academy. And this should be linked in the, in the comment section below in a pinned comment. The actual URL is runestone.academy in your search bar. And what RuneStone is, is it's kind of like an interactive textbook in a way. Uh, of course, it's not a, um, it's not like a, um, it's a, not a very jargon filled textbook. So it's actually not that bad. It has some interactive things, some examples and some questions that you can answer. And it is, and many courses, many AP computer science classes are actually kind of based on this um, textbook. So it depends on what your teacher actually uses. Some prefer to teach it, some prefer to use the textbook as the guide. But you can actually see this textbook. If you go over here to our library, and then you scroll down to this one right here, APCSA Java Review. If you click on this, you will see that it should open up all of the table of contents. And you can see that it goes and talks about every single thing. If you start with number, if you start with number two right here, it says Java Basics, right? That's the chapter. And then you have all of these different um, sub things, right? You have what is Java or Java. What is a class and an object, right? First example classes. You can see over here that if you go to um, summary, right, you can actually see all of the vocabulary for the unit over here. If you go to, you know, and then keyword summary, this is kind of some of the things in actual code that you need to know, right? And then you can see here, they actually give you an example with some diagrams about different things, right? You have some practice questions, right? To ask you like, for example, you know, to physically drag and drop each of these things. So you just click on the side, right? And you actually, and you actually drag it over here. So like I can simply, you know, drag all of my definitions to my terms and then you can click check and it will tell you if you are correct or if you got anything incorrect here. And so this is going to be very, very useful. Now, even if you click over here, you have exercises. Um, and you can see that for unit 2.9, there actually aren't any, but if you go to, for example, unit three, you, you will definitely have some uh, practice things over here. You may have some C coding practice where you can actually type in some code and see how everything works. So the RuneStone Academy is also very, very useful because it, it has instructional things. So like if I go to here, what's a variable, right? They have kind of information on every single thing. They'll give you even some check your understanding questions at the end. They'll provide some videos, which are going to be very helpful and in informational videos. And then you're also going to have, you know, some of the different explanations and all of that is going to be very, very helpful. And especially if you're preparing for future units and your class is using this, that's even going to be even more helpful for you. But like, let's say you're in the class already and you're on unit three, you want to kind of move ahead. You can easily go to unit four and start reading some of these things and answering some of the questions. Like you can see over here, they even give you some easy, uh, medium and hard multiple choice questions that you can use to practice, uh, practice yourself and get you more permission at Java. Because again, the entire thing you're trying to do here is if you're trying to prepare for AP computer science in some way, whether you're preparing uh, before the actual class or in the class, then you're going to be working with Java, the programming language and having questions like this, because again, majority of your tests in class are going to be multiple choice. Of course, this depends on your teacher, but majority of the time it's multiple choice. And on the actual AP exam, it is also multiple choice. Like there's a 50% component, which is multiple choice, and then 50%, which is FRQ. 
Now, if you took the 2020 exam, it was all FR cube, but that should not uh, that should not actually extend into 2021. Hopefully, so it should just be um, it, there should be both multiple choice and FR cube. So in this case, these are going to be very helpful for you, and you can kind of go through the practice. You can actually, um, you know, check your work, and when you get it wrong, for example, see, it actually gives you a hint or a pointer of something that can maybe lead you in the right direction. So that's going to be very helpful for you. All right, so after RuneStone Academy, the next thing I want to talk about is coding bad, and this is simply codingbad.com slash Java. And even if you type in codingbad.com, it should bring you here, right? There's a Java and a Python page. We're only going to obviously be looking at the Java page because AP Computer Science A is in Java. And some of the things that are going to be very helpful for you, and this kind of um, in general over here, it gives you, this is actual practices. Like let's say you want to do a practice on strings, for example. After, and I recommend doing this after you've done the runestone stuff. So if you look at the unit, for example, uh, unit uh, three, or I think unit, uh, it's unit two, which talks about strings. Let's say you do unit two and you kind of finally, you know, you go over strings and now, you um, or you know you moved ahead and you're now and you learned about strings and now you want to actually do some practice. This is going to be very helpful for you. So let's say I go over here for example, and what it allows you to do is it actually allows you. And of course the website isn't the best. I mean it's um, it looks a little bit older in terms of design, you know, with um, with fonts and how everything's set up, but it's still very good. So if you go over here, it says for example, you know, um, given a name string example return a greeting. Right, so for example, in this case, you would just, and I'm just going to fill this in just so I can show you an example of what happens, right? So I'm going to give you the correct answer. So you, uh, I'm just gonna have hello, plus the name, plus a exclamation point. So if I click go, it'll actually tell you, see if there are any problems. So you can see here that I forgot a semicolon on line two, so I can fix my problem. I can even click go, and then it's what it's going to do is it's actually gonna test your code in many different cases, right? So in this case, it's giving a lot of different um, possibilities, and then it's going to test my output and see, does it actually match what is expected, right? What my code returns is on the right, and then what it expects on the left, and if they match, that means you got it correct. And if all of your things are correct, that means you are completely correct your solution. Because you know, there are some cases where you can run code for certain inputs and it works, but then others it doesn't, and then you have to fix and bug fix. And that is what this allows you to do. In fact, you can also click on show hint over here. And the hint will actually allow you to, again, this is also to help you move in the right direction, right? The hint is going to, is going to kind of give a pointer, which you know, may spark your memory and be like, oh yeah, you know, that's what I have to do. And then you can go and do that. And then also one thing is when I click go over here, and there's also something here that it says, uh, you can see our solution as an alternative. So you can see actually my solution was probably exactly what their solution was, but, they also will give their official solutions. You can see maybe if there's a more efficient way or a different way to do something, because of course in programming there are so many ways to do the exact same thing, right? So all those different ways, you can maybe see another way and it will help you learn, right? It can help you learn the different ways that you can approach a problem. So that when you're faced with another problem, right, you may be able to uh, return back your memory and see that, oh, you know, this was a way that I could have solved this problem, or this is a way that I may have been able to solve this problem and it will be able to uh, help you. All right, so the last thing I wanna talk about um, in terms of the videos, and this is kind of preparing for future units is actually I have a playlist for a lot of, for pretty much every single unit. So I'm just going to go to YouTube and I'm going to go over to my channel over here. You can just go to that by putting my name or just clicking obviously on this channel. And if you go over to the, um, if you go to playlists over here, you can see that there is an AP Computer Science playlist. And this AP Computer Science playlist has a lot of the unit uh, reviews. So like, for example, unit five, you can click on it and you can easily watch the video and I talk about the entire unit. You can even go to, for example, unit, uh, like the part two videos. And then down here in the description, I actually have some practice tests. And that's kind of why I wanted to show you. It's not to like show my channel. It's, it's just, I want to show you the practice the practice materials that are here. If you click on this GitHub link, I actually have a practice test that I made for you and pretty much all of the units. So this can also be very helpful for you to kind of go over and do some review. So you can see here that it says that, you know, this is unit five. If you click on this AP Computer Science link, 
you can see all of the different unit reviews from 1 through 10. So let's say I want to do unit 3. You can click unit 3 and actually have a notes page over here, which is the notes that I actually talk about in the video. And then here I have a, a practice exam. And this practice exam, you'll be able to answer the questions and watch part two of the video to actually be able to get the answer. So in addition to the runestone, the coding bat, then these, this can also be a helpful resource for you to be able to kind of get prepared and, um, you know, maybe to hear it because some people, you know, per, are more of visual learners. So they want to physically read, you know, the textbook, right? Or in my case, they may want to see the actual notes that I have listed here, right? In these actual notes, they may want to read that. Other people are more auditory, so wanting to maybe listen to the videos on RuneStone or listening to the videos inside of my playlist, those may actually be helpful as well in, in terms of those type of people. And then of course, coding bad is a great for the people who are more of a hands-on, like they want to actually kind of, um, they want to physically try and you know use the code and kind of experiment and that is also a great resource so pretty much all those three different learning styles they kind of fit within all of these different methods here and again with the course description you can always check over the um, what is actually going to be tested on the exam so you can kind of see get a good, a good get a good example of what you're actually trying uh, to do and um, in addition to that your teacher may also provide other resources. For example, your teacher may actually have, you know, on his website or her, um, his or her website, they may have uh, different, you know, different tabs, maybe for future units, which you can always review as well. All right, everyone, uh, if you have any questions, definitely leave them in the comments section below. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. And as always, thanks for watching.